I get many questions and by many I mean more than two on how to bypass the lamp in a commercial projector. You need to remove the lamp and the high voltage power supply. This high voltage power supply is connected to the lamp. It has two thick wire for input power and third it has a connector with three or more thinner wire that are used for control and monitor of the lamp. You need to find out which of these wires is the lamp OK signal and it's easy to do so by looking at the opto isolators close to these wires. I will remove the main board so you can see where the high voltage power supply was mounted and now it's replaced by an AC adapter that supplies power to the LED. It is a 15 volt AC adapter from an old laptop and it's perfect to supply power to this LED. This LED needs about 13.4 volt, something like that. And the rest of the voltage will drop on the power resistors that are connected in series with the LED. The current supplied to the LED is about 500 milliamps for a total of 7 watt of power. This is the view from the top of my Toshiba LCD projector. Under the blue tape I connected the two orange wires together in order to make the projector think that the lamp is working. There is also a micro switch to detect that the lamp assembly is inside the projector. You can glue that or solder the contacts together like I did. These are some photos with a large projection into a completely dark room. This is an example of how you can use lens or mirrors to collect the light from an LED 
but for video projection the best solution is uh, using a lens. In a video projector you need to have the light travel as straight as possible, almost like a laser. I made an animation in Blender 3D to show you why it is important for the light to travel as straight as possible. In a commercial projector you have an LCD that is 1 inch or smaller, this is about 2 cm. And the light needs to travel from your light source to the LCD about 10 times this distance or 10 times the, the diagonal of the LCD screen. In this animation, the angle is changing from 6 degrees, that's plus minus 3, to 18 degrees, that's plus minus 9, and 6 degrees almost ideal for any video projector, but at 18 degrees you lose about 90% of the light, so only 10% of the light will reach the LCD. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.